Hey everyone, welcome back to another session with One Class. Uh, my name is Bassam, and today, today we're going to be going through some algebra problems at the high school and university level. Let me just adjust my chair here. Okay, so a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm an engineering graduate, um, and so we're going to go through some uh, algebra problems, as I said before. Um, and uh, we'll get started over here. Just let me adjust a little bit. Okay. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is the first question. Question number one. Here we're asked, um, how do you find the circumference of a circle with a diameter of six centimeters? So we have some circle, and it has diameter of six centimeters. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through the junior tutor's answer, um, go step by step, um, and try to verify that it's the right solution and then we're also gonna go through step by step on the whiteboard over here um, how to get a, the correct solution as well so uh, starting off to determine the circumference we have the diameter so this is what, what's given six centimeters so they give the answer right away um, let's go down to the explanation so we have this equation right here c for circumference is equal to 2 pi times diameter divided by 2 so diameter divided by 2 is just the radius, so I'll write that over here. R for radius, and the equation that represents the circumference for the circle is C is equal to 2 pi R. So this is a very important equation to know offhand. Um, I'll just highlight it over here. And this is what you'll need to solve this problem. So right away we can see that diameter is given in the question. And we'll substitute that in to get to our final answer. So we can see the junior tutor went with these steps. So let's go through them on the side over here. So we have C equals 2 pi. Our diameter is 6 centimeters. And divided by 2. So we know here we have... 2 pi times 3, 6 divided by 2 is just 3, and then we have 3 times 2, so we're going to multiply this 2 with this 3, and we'll end up with 6 pi centimeters. So we can use our calculator to get the exact answer, or we can multiply by 3.14, so we can do 6 times 3.14 for pi, or we can just type in pi into our calculator and multiply it by 6 and we'll end up with 18 this is approximate 18.85 centimeters I'll put squiggly for approximate okay so we can see here that the junior tutor obtained the correct answer and they followed a similar process so we can mark this question as correct great job and we'll move on to the next question.